Hey everyone, Tom here from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us today on a beautiful uh, Sydney winter's day. So we are checking out a uh, new DC fast charging location here on Sydney's northern beaches. We are in Warrywood, uh, which is the northern part of the northern beaches. And we are about to head into Warrywood Square, which is the main shopping center here in these parts. So right at this roundabout, and I'm approaching it from the Pitwater Road side. In 600 meters, turn left, then your destination will be on the right. Okay, so in this road here, we should be able to see the car park entrance shortly. Now okay. turn left. Okay, so I don't think it's there, it's actually further up. You can see all the all the signage up there, Warrywood Square. Check out this bus here. This squat little bus. Is that electric? Well, oh, it's just painted. Oh, it's been painted. Interesting. Now enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay, let's go into here. Now, according to PlugShare, it's on level two. So we will uh, head up that ramp there because it says level one, two, and three. And apparently it's in the back right corner. That's uh, according to the plug share entry. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, thank you very much, Tesla Nav. Of course, uh, with um, third-party DC chargers, you can't actually uh, precondition the battery. Just with Tesla superchargers, you can. Let's try, see whether we can find a ramp. Yep, just a random trolley in the middle of the road. Uh, where is the ramp? Is there more than one car park? Uh, should be a level two. This is level one. Yeah, no. It said level one, two, three, right? Level two, okay. All right, let's go to level two. So was there any other way to go up to level two quickly? I don't think so. I think we need to spiral around that car park and come up this ramp. Okay. So level two. The pictures I've seen, it's undercover, so we'll go into this bit here. Uh, back right corner. Of course, we are in that part of the um, uptake of EVs where charges are just not well signed at the moment, so we just have to go on a bit of a treasure hunt currently. Let's go this way. Uh huh. I see an EV charger. Very good. Now these um, chargers look like they've been installed by the same people who did the Chatswood Chase one, which I also covered earlier. It's NG. So two DC chargers and then two AC chargers on the left. So we'll try the DC ones first and then we'll try the AC ones. Okay, let's park in. Now my charge port is on the left, so I'll just see whether I can park this way and reach that cable around. If not, I might have to readjust. Okay, park as close as I can. All right, let's plug in. All right, everyone, welcome to Warrywood Square. We've got the NG Rapid Charger, which is a ChargeFox charger as well. Now the way ChargeFox works is that they run the software. NG actually install it. Uh, and ChargeFox just run the software to uh, build and to uh, run the back end as well to, to tell you whether the charger is available. So you can use the ChargeFox app down here. These are the instructions. You can either use the ChargeFox app or the ChargeFox RFID card, which I have today. And ChargeFox are now a ludicrous feed partner um, and they actually give us free charging, which is very nice of them. Thank you, ChargeFox. 
So, uh, let's see, it's a rapid charger, station 8101, which you can identify from the app. Uh, NG has received support from Arena for this fast charging station as part of the Arena's Future Fuels Fund. So there is partial government funding at least. And the screen currently shows the car next to me uh, charging. Information there, they're on 74%. They've been charging for 31 minutes, receiving 47 kilowatts, and they've charged 26 kilowatt hours already. So let's plug into our side. So we've got DC CCS2 on the left, which is great because the MG next to me is CCS2. And we've also got uh, CCS2 on the right as well, which is great because a lot of cars are now. Um, how do I release? You probably need to unlock it when you. No, it says plug in first. Oh. Anyway, because a lot of cars are now CCS2. Okay, so um, let's try to remove that uh, plug. So let's press that button. Um, let's tap our RFID card, even though it's just plugging your vehicle first, but um, I can't actually release it. it. Feels like it's locked. I certainly don't want to break it. So, um, all right, let's tap first. Okay, it's, uh, tap is good. So now it says plug in, so let's see whether Okay, so that was actually a bit trickier to remove than I thought. Let's try that again, because maybe I'm not doing it right. Let's plug it, put it back in. Okay. So I'm trying to do this more gracefully now, so. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's a bit fiddly. You, you've got to sort of pull out diagonally down to get the plug out, just, um, just to let you know. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the charge port on the left. I'll get Joy to walk around as well. Okay, so you see there's a pulley here. So this should reach the left side of my vehicle, hopefully without damaging it. Okay, so push the charge port open. It's a little bit unwieldy, these cables are heavy, but I will do my best. One hand, two handed, yep. Okay, we're plugged in. Okay, so you can see the cables just resting on the car behind there should be okay. They are quite heavy cables. Okay, so I can hear a click, I think, from the screen. Just grab the camera off Joy. Okay, so let's see what the screen shows. Just uh, keeping this running for you guys in real time. A lot of clicks, so I think good clicks. Um, the car state of charge is currently 64%, so we shouldn't expect too quick a rate because um, obviously the lower your state of charge, the faster the rate. As I said, the car hasn't preconditioned on the way here because it's not a Tesla supercharger, but you're getting about 60 kilowatts. I think with the supercharger, you probably get a quick, quicker rate. Yeah, so 56 kilowatts. Um, and there's the time lapse like the, um, like the other information from the other car I showed you earlier and how much energy has gone into the car so far and that's the time the time's not quite right it's about 1 p.m. at the moment the date is correct though I think um, all right uh, let's have a look at the box itself before we correlate the charge rate to the car so vicinity centers which runs Royalwood Square let's have a look at the back of the unit I always like looking at the back of the unit let's see what is going on here any specs on this side Oh, no specs. Okay, we'll check the other side. Okay, no specs here either. Oh wait, down here, here we go. Fire um, Hong Technology DC EV Charger. What are the specs here? We've got input rating, output range 150, 300 amps, 120 kilowatt max output now whether that's shared between the two vehicles it might be actually maybe that's why i'm only getting 60 kilowatt max at the moment because both cars are plugged in all right let's just see uh, how much heat loss there is from the charger going to the car so we're seeing uh, 42 kilowatts let's pan into the car and see what we're getting there yeah 42 kilowatts so actually not too much heat loss at all between the charger and the car which is good 
Okay, so like I said, uh, from the charger, two DC charging spots, pretty well signed actually on the ground and on the walls. And then to my right, we've got two AC chargers, which I will try uh, after I go to the shops to get some supplies. There you go, some more signage on the ground. Green for AC, EV charging. And then on the floor here on the left for DC charging, it says EV charging and it's blue for DC. And where are the shops? Well, if I just pan up this way, entry to the shops is literally just right up this lane on level two, next to row one at Warriorwood Square. A few moments later. Okay, so we're finished charging. Well, I think we've had enough. So 88% um, on the screen there. Uh, elapsed 19 minutes. It's still charging 53 kilowatts, so that's pretty good. And it's charged 16, uh, almost 70 kilowatt hours. Instructions down here to stop charging is uh, tap the RFID card again on the RFID card reader. All right, let's do it. So unplug, tap first. Okay. So I guess we stop that one. I guess, yeah, the, the way to stop your one is to tap your side first. Otherwise you'll be stopping at someone else's charge, which is not cool. All right, let's go and unplug on that side. All right, so the show's white Tesla light there. And just unplug, move the unwieldy cable around. Ugh. Okay, so um, plugging it back in the cradle, remember it's quite uh, tricky to push in to diagonally upwards. Oh, and it clicks in. I guess it's more secure, but as I said before, it's a bit, um, takes a bit of effort just to pull it out. Okay, and so we're good, we're done. Excellent. All right, let's go try out the, um, the free ones or the AC chargers to see whether they're free. Okay, so now we're on the green AC charging side and there's one and two on the other side. Uh, it looks like it's been installed by a jet charge. Um, and yeah, they seem to be type twos. I'll just lift this up now. There you go, type two plugs or sockets. And they are untethered, so you've got to bring your own cable. So here's my cable here. Uh, and thanks to uh, EVSC Australia for giving me this cable to try. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's plug in the charger on the charging side first. So let's plug in. Okay, so it says it preparing station for charging. It's a good sign. And then on the car side, Lift up the flap again. Okay, let's see what happens when we plug in. Oh, okay, that was pretty quick. So I didn't have to tap my card or anything or use the app. And it looks like, hopefully, it's ramping up already. So I've got some stats there. Voltage, 230 volts, 1.4 amps. Hopefully that goes up. And charging power, 2 kilowatts. Slowly making its way up, so... This car, Model Y, is capable of 11 kilowatts if you've got three-phase supply. So let's see whether it goes past. Yes, it does go past seven, which is good. Because seven is single phase. It should top up at around 11-ish. Yep, all right, so 11.2 kilowatts. Good, so these are both, this one anyway, is three-phase. Let's have a look at the car. Okay, so there we go. It's um, showing 11 kilowatts, um, just like the AC chargers. Fantastic. That's really good. I suppose we've got time. We should probably try the other side, see whether it's three phase as well. Let's do it. Okay, so we're plugging to this side now and let's see whether my cable can reach all the way around. It's a good test, isn't it? How long these cables are. But this is a five meter cable. And I think it just reaches, just reaches. Okay. So again, I haven't tapped any card. Green light is good. That means it's charging. Let's go see the screen now. Now, all things being equal, we should be able to get the same charge rate on this side too. Because it's AC charging, it shouldn't decrease in power if there are two cars, uh, not like DC charging where the power is shared from one unit. Okay, so signs are good. 11 kilowatts, fantastic. Not many cars can charge a 22 at the moment. So it's hard to test that, any new cars in Australia anyway. But here we go, 11 kilowatts, both 
sides of the AC station, which is fantastic. Makes me very happy seeing that actually. So that's good. Excellent. Okay, so in the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 for that matter, you have to stop charging if you want to unplug and you've got to unlock the charge port as well. So two steps. Okay, so if you've done it correctly, it should be a white Tesla light, which means you can safely un unplug. That's it, you're done. And that charge flap will go down by itself. Boom. And then, um, this one particular unit says session stopped unplug cable. So pretty easy. Done. It's so easy, right? That's why we need more AC chargers around because they're very, very convenient, very versatile. Okay, so we're done charging, so uh, we will head off now. Um, yeah, so good to see more uh, DC chargers in our local area. So uh, yeah, we'll try and find more of these NG installations around Sydney. But uh, yeah, many thanks to um, NG, Charge Fox and Warrywood Square vicinity centers for coming together to this party and um, supporting EV drivers in Sydney. All right, everyone, that's it for me, Tom and Joy from Ludicrous Feed. Until the next video, happy charging. <laughs>